if you want your makeup to last from the beginning of the day till the end of the day this summer in this 30 degree heat this is the makeup routine for you this is like my soft glam everyday makeup routine that lasts the whole day in summer they like i tell you always stay hot oh they mad cause i keep making bops oh she mad cause i'm taking her spot if i was bitches i'd hate me a lot like damn she and her mood Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nachi GK and today I'm going to be showing you my full glam makeup routine. Perfect for the summertime, perfect for long wear. If you have more oily combination, acne prone skin, this video is for you. When I'm starting off my makeup, I like to use a vitamin E hydrating mist. I find that this helps my skin stay hydrated in general. I just let that you know sit in my skin a little bit then I like to go in with my serums this is the simple hyaluronic acid um, plus B3 serum it's just a basic serum I just like to put a few drops of it on my face just because I like how it feels skin prep is so important you don't want to neglect your skin prep whatever you do the next step of my makeup routine is priming my face. I use two primers. My main primer is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I have oily skin so this is great for me and I also have some pores around my T-zone. Um, this is my second primer. This is the Higa and Esther Skin Filter Primer. Perfect for oily skin. I like to take both my primers and put them in the areas where I know I need them. I think primer is quite skin type specific so you might want to, you need to find a primer that caters to your skin type. If you have oily skin, you need a mattifying but somewhat hydrating primer if you have dry skin you need an extremely hydrating primer just to help your makeup sit better on your skin i like to start off with my brows this is the eyebrow gel that i use um it's really just the got to be water um literally just a black one and this is my glue of choice like it's literally perfect it doesn't turn white it holds all day and i like to take a spoolie and i just get a bit of that and just get it on my brush and just get it onto my eyebrows okay i don't really fill in my brows because i have really really thick brows but you can go ahead and fill your brows in if that is you know your preference to properly begin my base i like to set my face with some um setting spray and then this is so that my makeup lasts all together setting spray in between every layer that is the only way your makeup is going to hold on you don't want to put setting spray only at the end or only twice at least three times especially if you sweat a lot or you have oily skin so my foundation of choice is the fenty beauty um pro filter soft matte foundation this is in the shade 420 so i just apply my foundation I usually put it on the back of my hand just so that I have a be better measurement but honestly I don't feel like having makeup on my hand today. So I just literally blend my foundation into my skin. I like to tap it all into my skin. I love this foundation it reminds me of the l'oreal true match foundation a lot because that was my first foundation and there are a lot of similarities i take a small brush with my um born this way Too Faced foundation um concealer in the shade chai um and i I then just use it to sculpt the umbra of my eyebrows. So I like to just use my beauty blender to blend out the underneath of my eyebrows. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I use a beauty blender. It doesn't really matter. 
I just like to use Beauty Blender most times because it picks up the majority of the excess product. I'm going to take my two shades of the Born This Way concealer in the shade Chai and then the shade Butterscotch. These are my shades of preference, okay? So I'm basically going to take both of them and mix them on the back of my hand. And I love the applicator for this concealer. It makes me feel like, you know, like I'm actually wearing a nice concealer. But yeah, I take this and I apply it in my inner corner and just here to kind of lift my eye. I don't actually like putting way too much concealer on because I feel like it will just crease. So don't do that. I don't know why a lot of people do that. Yeah, um, I'm just highlighting the areas of my face that I usually highlight. Then the next thing that I like to do is contour my face. I like to go in with my Makeup Revolution Foundation Fast Base Stick. This is in the shade F18. I absolutely love this because it blends so well. So I actually kind of take my contour. I recently started doing this because I saw it on TikTok do it. I take my contour up this way. Next thing I do is I contour my cheekbones. This. I think this is one of my favorite like parts of makeup to do and I just literally give my nose that little like fake contour thingy you know what I mean but yeah um I put some contour on my forehead just to kind of like you know give it more shape and dimension then I want my makeup to really, 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 really last because it is summer. So I take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and I literally just go all over my face. One thing I love about this Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray is that it does not feel like anything when you spray it on. And so like from maximum, maximum, maximum um, hold, I'm gonna go in with my matte NYX Finishing Spray. And then um, this is just my contour brush. I'm gonna blend out all the places I've just contoured. I like to do my contour first before my concealer, but I like to place my concealer early because I like to blend my concealer when it's very, very, very like dried down. Cause I really just like that matte finish of dried down concealer. I think it looks so much better. Cause yeah. And then, I'm just currently now blending out the contour. This contour is so affordable, like literally. I think my makeup routine is somewhat, I don't, okay, I can't lie. It used to be mainly affordable product, but I've recently just upgraded, but this contour stick is literally the best four pounds I've spent on anything because I can't count how many times I've tried to use like concealer to contour. You can use concealer to contour, but sometimes it just dries down way too quickly, like before you're even able to work with it. So that's not really nice, is it? So uh, I like to use a smaller brush to blend my nose contour just cause like I find it's more precise. I have currently just blending out my contour so the next thing that I like to do is I spray my face with a hydrating mist like I previously showed you guys this is just a super drug vitamin E hydrating mist I like to spray my face with it and then like kind of just let it sink in then I like to just use my flat brush and literally blend out my concealer I love this step so much it just adds the oomph. I like to use a brush to blend out my concealer because I, I find out like it spreads the product more and it just has like a more seamless finish. 
and gives your makeup a nice finish but i feel like for like first base blending my preference is definitely a brush because i need that coverage i kind of just like blend in all the areas that i need to blend i do this gently i try not to move my product around too much because yeah we don't want that next step in my makeup routine is i set my face in the areas where i've concealed it i use my pink river cosmetics powder puff it's kind of like a big or like uh, an airy powder puff it's really really good you guys should get this it's linked in my tiktok shop if you want it and it's only about seven pounds to um powder puffs um yeah so basically this is the powder puff i use i'll link it down below but guys it blends my under eyes like a dream like i can't even and this made me fit me press powder this is in the shade 350 it helps my makeup my entire like face stay very matte like it literally sets the makeup where it is it does not move next thing is i take my laura mercier powder this is in the shade translucent honey i believe and with my powder puff put that in there and i kind of like just tap and like scrape the excess off and then i dab it on the back of my hand just because like i want an even base so i just take my powder puff and go in my other eye again this is the finish that i kind of want and then I kind of like just clean up my face in the areas that I feel, you know, need to be cleaned up. And I like just go in with this palette. This is my Revolution Makeup Revolution X The Plastic Boy Gary Thompson palette. This palette is super affordable. It has all like my browns and my nudes and my neutral shades. And this is just a palette that I find myself reaching for every single time. Because, yeah she's just that girl okay then i just get like a tiny bit of eyeshadow i just want to add like a little bit of color to my eyes i just take the shades that i love and play with them i just use my foundation brush and like my maybelline fit me press powder to put this on there and i kind of just use it to take off like all the excess all the excess can you see how smooth that is like i'm obsessed with the products and how they just go so well together i kind of like to use this like bronzer situation on my nose i don't really know this is the bath and body works coconut bronzer in the shade um matte coco dark 05 So my next step is blush. This is the blush that I like to use. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Power Bomb in the shade Savage Coral. I feel like today, you know, I'm wearing pink, I'm feeling kind of pinky, so I just place that on my cheekbones. And you guys can see I love blush, so put on my nose as well because I feel like it just always gives such like a nice airbrushed like finish when so i take my blush brush i i really 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 one thing that i think i did not start to do early on in my makeup journey was i was using random br brushes to blend my makeup get the right brushes for the right purposes um layer of setting spray i don't intend to wear false eyelashes today so the next thing that i'm going to do is go in with my mascara this is literally just like a two pound mascara off of um amazon any mascara will do the next thing that i do is i go in with my made by mitchell blush this is in the shade drip drip i have actually never used this before so this is going to be my first time so i'm just going to put that on the back of my hand and take like my little my little eyeshadow brush and just kind of like just
The next step is I'm gonna take my MUA Intense Color Lip Liner in the shade Obsession. You guys know me if you've been watching me for a while. I have been talking about this this lip liner since I got it and heard about it. It is actually the best lip liner I've used. This is the only lip liner that I find myself coming back to every single time. Oops. I tend to overline because I have quite small lips. And yeah. I overline but not too much. is you know what it looks like and then like for a little oomph because like i like my cupid bow looking a little deeper what i do is i take black eyeshadow and i get like a tiny little brush like this get some black eyeshadow and brown eyeshadow and i kind of just like trace my cupid's bow area so onto the lips now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Revolution Hydro Bomb in the shade Versus and my NYX Bottle Gloss in the shade um, Crème Brûlée. Now this Makeup Revolution Lip Gloss is an absolute fave. This is the best five pounds I ever spent. The formula is all right. I have had better lip gloss formulas but the pigment is a one. Like I'm literally running out of it. Like, this is the first gloss that I know that I've actually, like, gone through, gone through. You know how you have just, like, a lot of glosses laying around? I can't put this one down. I can't leave it to lay around. I need it every single beat. Then I go on with my NYX bottle gloss. I don't know what this bottle gloss does, but, like, I just love the way it makes your overall makeup look, your overall lips look, literally. how it glides over lip liner last lip gloss is always a plumping lip gloss oops wrong one is always a plumping lip gloss and today the start of the show is the Fenty Heat I love this lip gloss even on a day I want to plump or not this is the perfect lip gloss I put that on like oh my god like Fenty lip glosses like I'm just so obsessed with the way they apply And this is what my gloss looks like. We're not done yet, okay? So the next thing I like to do is I take my eyeliner and I kind of like give myself fake beauty marks, like just black dots because I have acne and sometimes like it just brings back dimension into my face and it kind of like distracts from the spots. So. And I actually have birthmarks on my face that I might have covered, that I've covered here, so. So this is the final result of my makeup routine. This is how my makeup looks. If you guys love this video or you found it informative or helpful, don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more makeup content. Tell me guys, tell me what you guys think. Up next is my full glam makeup tutorial you know with the big lashes and everything but this is like my soft glam everyday makeup routine that lasts the whole day in summer this is how flawless my makeup looks and i have textured skin okay so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye